Welcome to Fisipay. Intuitive idea. Great part of a mathematician's job involves deducting true consequences from already established true notions. For example, if a mathematician knows that 2 plus 3 equals 5 and 5 plus 2 equals 7, then she should be able to deduce that 2 plus 3 plus 2 equals 7. That's the reason why the first step in studying mathematics is knowing how to reason like a mathematician, which generally means just knowing how to reason using only logical rules of inference. But before all this, one must know what a proposition is. For pure practical purposes, we will call proposition to any phrase that you can say has a value of true or false. For instance, the grass is green or the sun is yellow are true propositions while the clouds are blue and my dog is a chihuahua are false propositions. On the other hand, eat your vegetables, her green eyes or could you tell me where the restroom is are not propositions because you cannot assign an exact true value to them. Formal idea. Propositions can be represented like almost everything in math with letters. In this case, we will use P and following letters in the alphabet to denote them. We also will be interested in the values that they can have, and that's why we will use numbers 1 for true and 0 for false. But just to let you know, there are other symbols out there used by a mathematician. Some of them are top and bottom, or T and F, or also V and F. Practical idea. Although they may not look very useful at the beginning, the representation of some systems through propositional values has reached complex applications in modern times. The simple idea of assigning 1 and 0 to different states took humanity to the development of computers, and some simple modification to that perspective might lead us to artificial intelligence. It all started with what we've seen in this video, and later creating a physical system that can distinguish between two different values, for example, an electrical circuit. To represent a 1, you only have to allow current to pass through. To represent a 0, you have to forbid it. By using this basic principle, you can operate with these numbers and create more complicated stuff. Propositions and truth values may look simple, but they are at the core of electronics, computer science and artificial intelligence. Because this video is a simple introduction to a very complex world, the concepts and exercises are not going to be very challenging, but might be a very good warm-up for the newbies. So for this section, you can write in the comments three examples of phrases that are not propositions. Three examples of sentences that are false, such as my dog is a chihuahua, or three examples of sentences that are true, for example, the grass is great. Thank you very much for watching. If you like the videos, like, subscribe, comment, or share. See you next time.